Hello guys and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. So today I want to teach you guys the famous Peter Gator trick shot. I really love this trick shot and without further ado, let's just start with the video. To show you how the Peter Gator trick shot is properly done, I'm first going to show you the proper grip. The proper grip for the Peter Gator trick shot is just a normal backhand grip. But what I like to do is having the thumb a little bit more to the edge, not completely on the flat side. You basically adjust the thumb a bit. I get a better feeling for the Peter Gator trick shot like that. It's just basically the same grip you use for the net shot at the net. Just adjust the thumb how you feel the grip is the best, but stay with the basic backhand grip. Don't do anything too crazy, you know? Going slightly more to the edge is okay, but don't try the Peter Gator trick shot with the forehand grip. It doesn't work like that. Now that I showcased you the grip, for the Peter Gator trick shot, I'm going to show you the proper movement. You start off the Peter Gator trick shot by showcasing a net shot. And then after you faked this net shot by doing the movement, you move the racket below and hit the shuttle. This will create a deception. After you fake the net shot, you wait the longest possible. You know, the more split seconds, the better, so that you fool your opponent. If you do it immediately or don't wait a little bit and do the fake net shot, it's not a deception, it's just a weird net shot, you could say. So making the movement for the fake net shot first is very important to create the deception. I think to showcase you the Peter Gator trick shot, there's no better way than showing you the legend himself, Peter Gator, do the shot. So I will show here two clips of some footage where he does a trick shot. The first will be just in practice and the next one will be in a match. That being said, enjoy the clips. Now that you have seen him in action, you could clearly see that it was deceptive. The deception is created by doing the fake net shot. I'm showcasing you right now. You just move in like you want to play the normal backhand net shot. I'm showing you right now. And then you miss the shuttle on purpose and go below and hit the shuttle. If you do the movement properly, it will look like this. Very important for the movement is also that you have a relaxed grip. If you are stiff, the movement will not look smoothly and won't be as deceptive as it could. So be relaxed in your grip and then perform the movement. Also, stay with the basic backhand grip you do for underarm shots. You don't switch the grip, you stay with the basic backhand grip. The reason why I spent so much time focusing on explaining you that it's important to do the fake net shot is because many people perform the Peter Gator trick shot wrong. They don't do the fake net shot and immediately just go down and it will look like this. It looks a bit weird. Can you see what I mean? It looks completely stiff and not deceptive like the other movement shown right now. The Peter Gator trick shot is hard to do or to pull off in a match because you have to fake a net shot and then go below, which is a risky shot. Like even if it is performed correctly, if the quality is bad, your opponent will still kill the net shot. So it has to be deceptive and of good quality as a net shot, which makes it harder than just hitting it. Just like I showed you, the Peter Gather trick shot performed correctly in some footage of Peter Gather himself doing the shot. I will show you now some clips of people doing the trick shot wrong. The footage speaks for itself. Just watch.
Now don't get me wrong, it's not to hate badminton exercises or badminton family. It's just to point out the mistake in the movement. Just to give you guys an example. In my opinion, badminton exercises and badminton family do great explaining videos, great exercises. They promote the sport greatly. I just wanted to use their footage to showcase you the wrong movement. Everybody does mistakes. And if you compare the footage of Peter Gale doing the trick shot and them performing the trick shot, you will see a clear difference. The difference, just like I explained now multiple times, comes from not doing the fake net shot. If you don't do the fake net shot, it's not really a deceptive shot to play. The big deception comes from faking the net shot and then going below and hitting the shuttle. Always remember to fake the net shot. In the standing version of me performing the trick shot, you can see how I fake the net shot by doing the movement and then hitting it below. Now that you have seen me standing performing the movement, I will show you it now with movement. The reason why I showed you first the standing version is because doing it standing makes the movement much clearer, which makes sense because standing I have just so much more time to hit the shuttle instead of when I'm moving. If I do it with movement, it will be harder for you to see that I actually fake the net shot because it's much faster than I do it when I'm standing. Which is why I will show you now the Peter Gale trick shot in slow motion as I'm moving because that way you can see clearly how I fake the net shot by moving the racket slightly in front and then hitting it below. I think that's basically all you need to know to be able to perform the Peter Gale trick shot yourselves. I tried my best to explain you guys the movement, but if you have still any open questions left regarding how to do the Peter Gale trick shot, feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. That being said, see you guys in the next video.